For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Tuesday, April 13th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont reported two new deaths and 91 new cases of COVID-19 on Monday. There were five new positive tests reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire reported 380 new cases, including seven in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts reported 19 deaths, 1,376 new cases of the virus on Monday. There were nine new positive tests reported in Franklin County. More than 14,000 Vermonters aged 30 and older made appointments for the COVID-19 vaccine through the state registration system on Monday. That is, of course, Monday was the first day that age group became eligible. You can still make an appointment online at healthvermont.gov forward slash my vaccine. There are enough slots uh, at sites throughout Vermont for everyone who is eligible. Anyone who is unable to make their appointment online or who needs to speak with someone in a language other than English can call one 855 722 7878 Vaccination sites are available around the state and people can choose a nearby location when making their appointment. Vermont has received more than $11 million in additional funding for affordable housing construction under the American Rescue Plan Act through the Department of Housing and Urban Development's Home Investment Partnerships Program. This includes more than $9.5 million for the state of Vermont and $1.5 million for the city of Burlington. This new funding is in addition to the $3.4 million received by the state and city of Burlington in February. Past home awards have been used to construct rental housing for low and very low income Vermonters, increasing affordability and improving housing security. Gas prices have fallen slightly in New Hampshire, but have increased a bit in Vermont in the past week. Gas Buddy reported on Monday that New Hampshire gas prices dropped 2.6 cents to $2.68 a gallon. In Vermont, prices rose 2.1 cents to $2.77 per gallon. WTSA Sports, Patriots star receiver Julian Edelman, who helped New England win three Super Bowls and was MVP of Super Bowl 53, announced his retirement in a video posted on social media on Monday. Edelman, who is 35, ranks second in NFL history with 118 postseason receptions, trailing only Jerry Rice's 151. The Yankees beat Toronto 3-1 yesterday. Toronto and New York play again this evening, first pitch at 7.05. The Twins and Red Sox will try to play this afternoon at 2.10, Bruins host Buffalo tonight. Puck drops at 7 p.m. The Celtics out on the West Coast. They face the Portland Trailblazers this evening. Tip-off is at 10 p.m. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Tuesday, April 13th, my name is Ian Kelly.